Hello there, this is Aryan, greeting you in cartoon form. Summer is almost here, so long hair is gonna get stuffy soon. If you'll excuse me. Hmm? <laughs> Ta-da! So how did I accomplish this? By rigging and animating in Moho Pro. I added the lip sync after the fact, but for this tutorial, I'll explain how I did the first iteration of this project. It has the head turn, a simple mouth open and close, and the hair transformation. This will be a two-part series so I could take my time to explain some concepts. This first part will be about importing from Affinity Designer, then setting the layers up in Moho, while the rigging and animating will be on part 2. I'm still on Moho Pro version 12, so I can only hope this process is applicable for the current versions. The first step was making the assets to be animated. Moho can import PSDs into layers, so any program that can save into a PSD file will do. I drew mine in Affinity Designer. I didn't intend to make a fully rigged model, hence I kept the assets minimal and the shading baked in. This is how I organized the PSD. The face layers are made up of the ear, nose, closed mouth, open mouth, a layer for each eyebrow, eyeglasses, and the blush. Below them are the head, neck, and chest. I gave myself a black buzz cut, just in case, so the scalp won't peek while the hair moves. For the PSD file, I rasterized the vector layers into pixel layers to keep it as simple as possible for Moho to import. The saving to PSD option is under File Menu Export or Control alt shift s Then choose the PSD tab and these settings should do. Then the hair layers are separated via the highlights, the bleach edges, the bangs, and the hair at the back of the head. I saved the main hair shapes into an SVG because Moho can import SVG files into vector layers. While the banks and bleach color are exported into PNGs because they were drawn with raster brushes. Now on to Moho. I changed the settings of a new document to a square width and height with a frame rate of 24 which is fine for 2D animation. My end frame is at 168 which divided by 24 equals 7 seconds. In Moho's timeline, frame 0 is considered as the workspace for designing and rigging. The toolbar on the left will be equipped with the tools you need for such tasks. If I move the timeline playhead to frame 1 and beyond, the toolbar removes tools you're not allowed to use because you're in animation mode. So if you think some tools are missing, check where you are on the timeline dock. Okay, back to frame 0. I import the PSD via File Menu, General Import, then choose to import the layers individually. It created this folder where all the layers are arranged accordingly. Importing the hair SVG resulted in one vector layer for all the shapes in the file. No worries, I can cut the shapes out and make a vector layer for each piece of hair. The PNGs of the color and highlights will need some manual rearrangement. In hindsight, I should have included this in the PSD file to keep their positions. Why are you listening to me anyway? I group the hairs accordingly. I have two groups for the before and after front hairs. And two groups for the before and after back hairs. The bleach texture layers need to be masked into the hair shapes. To make clipping masks, I double clicked on the group in the layer stock to access settings. In the masking tab, under group mask, I choose hide all. That should convert the bottommost layer into the positive shape, while the layers above will be masked by it. If you want any layer to ignore the mask, double click on it in the layer stock, go to masking tab and choose don't mask this layer. That should be all the layers imported and arranged, but there's still some setup to do. The pixel layers are considered flat image layers by Moho. They need a mesh each if I want more flexible squatches and stretches on them. 
the mesh is created on a vector layer with the add point tool, the pen tool of Moho. It controls a bit differently from other pen tools. Click on where you want to start but without releasing the mouse button, drag to the next point and release. Click on the latest point to continue the shape. As long as auto weld is on, if you drag back to any point, there will be a clicking sound to signal that the line has connected with the pre-made point. To make a point curve, use the curvature tool to drag the bezier handles out of a point. When plotting the mesh, make sure auto fill and auto stroke are toggled off. Style isn't necessary for a mesh. The lines are kept straight because bezier handles will just complicate the animation. I gave an allowance outside the image asset, then added points based on the inner contours, like the tongue and teeth on the mouth. Select all of those points with the Select Points tool, shortcut is G. In the draw menu, choose Triangulate 2D Mesh, which connects all of those points into triangles. It also adds colors to each triangle, but that's okay. The layer will be set to invisible anyway. I created meshes for the other image layers that will need them. Namely the highlights, the bleach textures, the head, and the chest. I assigned the mesh by accessing the image layer settings, then in the image tab, choose from the list of meshes under the smart warp layer. If you manipulate the mesh, you won't see the image layers change on frame 0. But if you move to frame 1 and beyond, these layers do change. I redrew the eyebrows into vector layers for more flexibility. Each brow is aligned with three points in the texture. To change the style of the line, select it with the Select Shape tool, shortcut is Q. Then the color width and brush can be set in the style dock. The width tool lets me control the line weight to simulate the pressure sensitive brush stroke. That's it for the setup. Again, I'll be explaining the rigging and animation process in the next video. It'll be a doozy, hence I need more time with it. So subscribe and tune into my channel for that, and I'll see you guys when it comes out. Comment below if you need more clarifications, and give a like to let me know if this is something you'd want to see more of. Thanks for watching and bye!